Hey guys, it's Maria with Meet Me at Zero, and I want to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to my YouTube channel, for the conversations, for the prayers, for the love, for the support. Um, I thank you. And talking about wholeness, I don't think sometimes we think of how do we become broken to begin with. And so in our brokenness, we are separated from God. And a lot of times we see it as, you know, some big transgression, some big sin, some big event um, that's judgeable or that, that bears weight. But we really become broken from the time we're born. And so let me just explain. From the time our parents have us, and we have our kids and I, and I just, you know, these are my stories and my truth and my reality. When I have my children, I was broken um, in places. I had things I hadn't dealt with and I have them. And so I, I somewhat pass on that to them. But in life, we become broken in so many ways. In our comparison of ourselves to other people. Sometimes you have parents that treat different children uh, in a different way and that child becomes broken. Um, we become broken when we set our expectations and our standards to another human. Um, or we hold another human um, at a standard that we think um, is godlike when we're not God. Um, we become broken in failed relationship, failed marriage, sexual abuse, and so many things. And these things keep us broken or break us in a different way. And so I like to look at it as in our brokenness, in our valleys. It's really when we get closer to God because we rely on no one. We realize at the time that only God can get us out and only God can see us through. Our brokenness, and for everybody, looks very different. Brokenness can be neglect in a relationship, whether it's our parents um, or in a relationship. And sometimes it takes us a long time to heal. Um, we don't even realize that we're broken in that way until time has gone by and we're having to deal with parts of ourselves that we have not addressed. So wholeness is important because it reaches that point where, for me, when my big year, and I keep referencing back to 2015, was huge. It was my third divorce. I started working out, taking care of myself. But just really, I got the chance. I was stripped to the core. And I really had to go there to realize my worth, my value. Um, how much I've been cheating myself. And so sometimes when we think good, God really is thinking great. Um, and it takes divorce and it takes separation and it takes sometimes great loss to see greater, to see the bigger picture. Um, because God thinks at a magnitude and a level we can't even comprehend. But in 2015, I was beating myself up um, like most people like to do to other people, beat them up with what you're able to see that their weakness is or their mistake is or their sin is or their addiction is or a decision, you know, and I'm guilty of this as well. And in the valley, I realized that there were parts of my life that you never get answer for. There are parts of your life that you really don't need an answer for. Um, and that in the valley, you allow God to seep into the brokenness and make you whole. And to me, that translates as in, I don't even need, because this is a big one. I think a lot of us, we live to a certain standard expectation of our grandparents and our parents. And half the stuff was a facade or is even unattainable on a human level because as humans, we always find a way to sabotage or to demoralize or to bring somebody else a little further down so that we can feel a little bit better about ourselves. And I just realized that I don't need my parents' approval for the life I choose, for the people I love, for, you know, anything. 
and I don't need to compete with my neighbor or a friend or anybody about any aspect of life. And that it's absolutely okay to accept the bad chapters of your life, the bad decisions that you made, the lessons that you needed to learn and that were gained through that. And so wholeness comes from understanding that God from the beginning wants the very best for us. That this idea for me that God is always punishing you or, um, you know, just when you make headway, um, you know, here it comes. And the reality is that God always wants goodness for us. And because he's a God of free will, and that was a gift that he gave her from the beginning, from zero. Um, he allows us to make decisions and those decisions um, bear a consequence. And so he basically, the way I like to see it is, we roll the dice and whatever, where the chips fall, they fall and God is there. And so in his mercy and his grace, if the, the chips fall against us and we really try, then he capitalizes in that to draw us close to him but it's not that he is wishing bad upon our life that he is wishing that we stay broken um, but he will use our own decisions our own transgressions to draw us back to him and and that's love and mercy and so in the concept of in the in the concept of wholeness i believe that everybody has to become whole because again we're broken in so many ways throughout life um, and it constantly attempts to bear down on us. But when we become whole, we have no need to seek validation from anybody human. Um, but it all comes from God and he is the root and the source of all. And when we operate in that premise, we have happier, more fulfilled lives because we are seeking um, to serve him. And he looks at us, he really does look at us with unconditional love, grace, and mercy um, versus, for the most part, that's not the way we're looked at by other humans. So um, I will go into, um, I will share some experiences next week um, in regards to wholeness. Um, today, this is all I want to share. I really I had a video last week I recorded and it was just... I really prayed about it and I said I have to redo it and I don't practice I don't write notes I really do speak from the heart and what I believe to be true to me um, and my hope is that it will encourage you that you will keep pushing forward that you will look at yourself with more grace and more mercy because in the measure in which you love yourself God says the Bible says love thy neighbor as thyself you really cannot love another person until you are able to love yourself unconditionally the way God loves you accepting that gift fully and so I hope you have a mighty week um, be kind to someone this week um, and I will see you next week at meet me at zero thank you for the love and the support wishing you the best bye-bye